welcome to the second of my feel good films for stressful times and my second choice is Carefree, the 1938 romantic musical comedy directed by Mark Sandrich from a script by Alan Scott and Ernest Pagano with songs by Irving Berlin. The film stars Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, Ralph Bellamy and Luella Gear. Lovely young singer Amanda is engaged to the boorish Stephen, but keeps breaking off the engagement. So Stephen asks his old friend, psychiatrist Dr. Tony Flagg, to have a talk to Amanda and see if they can sort things out. However, after a very rocky start, Amanda begins to develop feelings for Tony and things get very complicated. It's going to take a lot of hypnosis, drugs, gunplay and a lot of dancing to sort out the ensuing romantic complications. What makes the movies of Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers so sensational, so unique and so wonderful is the fantastic chemistry between Fred and Ginger in addition to their amazing dancing. Ginger Rogers' character in this movie is so cheeky and so mischievous. Um, Fred's character starts off as a bit cocky and stuffy but she really brings him, cuts him down to size with her um, very perverse and offbeat sense of humour. Amanda is such a feisty character and she's really not afraid to say or do anything. Fred Astaire as Tony is totally charming in this movie, as always. Um, he's just so debonair and stylish and he brings such a sweetness to this role, even though Dr Tony's ethics as a psychiatrist are sometimes fairly questionable. Another thing I love seeing is Fred Astaire's amazing array of skills. In some of the other films that they made together, we see him playing the drums amazingly well, playing the piano, and in this film he also plays the harmonica and um, hits a mean golf ball. The highlights of Carefree for me include some of the amazing dance numbers. In particular, um, I used to be colorblind, the first big dance number, features these stunningly beautiful and really dreamy slow motion sequences of them dancing together. Um, I understand this, this sequence was originally supposed to be in Technicolor, so it was going to be like a little Technicolor interlude in this black and white film, but I guess for budgetary reasons or other reasons that was scrapped, so it's in black and white. But the effect is nevertheless really beautiful and so romantic. And this number culminates in one of their few on-screen kisses. Um, normally in Fred and Ginger's films, the kisses happen sort of off-screen, they're implied, but here they get to have a nice big smooch at the end. Another highlight for me was Amanda high on drugs, running amok around town, and then later when she's been hypnotised, um, chasing after Fred Astaire with a shotgun. Another thing that's really enjoyable in this film is the great Art Deco sets and design and all the really stunning 1930s fashions which look so beautiful on Ginger. And let's not forget Fred's fashions are also really stylish and so dapper. But for me, the greatest highlight of Carefree is the hypnotic dance number. Um, for me, this is one of their greatest ever dance numbers. It's just so beautifully inventive and it's almost painfully romantic. I will admit I think these films have actually ruined me for real life but you know that's fine. Carefree really showcases Fred and Ginger's very special blend of really playful humour, amazing dancing and romance. Um, their chemistry to me is something really special and it really puts their films in a league of their own. I chose Carefree because it's my personal favourite of all their movies, but I love most of their movies and I think most Fred and Ginger movies will give you that same really feel-good uh, feeling at the end and leave you with a smile. Particularly films like Follow the Fleet, Top Hat or The Gay Divorcee, um, they all have that really beautiful warmth and sense of fun. There is just so much to enjoy in Carefree, um, you know, from Irving Berlin's wonderful music um, Change Partners and Dance is a, a track that's featured heavily in this um, film and it's just so so great and it is part of the story um, but really the film is suffused with such a beautiful sense of warmth and fun and romance it is really sure to leave you with a smile 
I hope you enjoy it as much as I did and if you can't find this one do check out one of Fred and Ginger's other movies um, always a mood lifter for me thank you so much for watching and once again I'd love to hear what your top feel-good movies are and I hope to see you next time Bye.